Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. It's nice to be with you today. Today I'm just going to give you a little behind the scenes how I put my videos together. Some of you might be curious what it takes and what it looks like. So that's what we're doing today. Let's get started. You'll notice as we go through this video today that there's a lot of movement. I have a tripod and a light. I actually have two lights. They came in a package of two. And what happens when I am shooting these videos is I need to move things around quite a bit because I'm moving from station to station. I began by using this tripod on the left. I don't use this one anymore, but I needed it to, for this video. <laughs> I'll show you at the end. I have a, another tripod now that I'm using, just a little bit sturdier. I happen to inherit uh, a nicer tripod, so I do enjoy using something that's a little bit more sturdy. And like you can see in this video right here, I have to move things around and Truthfully, once in a while, I forget to turn that light on or I forget to move it, but you know, the show must go on. Then I have this little handy cardboard piece that I cover the light of my sewing machine so that when I'm doing um, videos of me sewing with the sewing machine, it takes the glare off of the, um, the actual sewing so you're able to see what I'm doing. And as some of you know, I don't always have a completed quilt in my videos, but when I do, I like to share the quilt and I'll take it out to the backyard with my tripod and my iPhone. I film with an iPhone and I do a little video right there on the grass. When I'm done filming all the clips for a video, I usually wait until I have all the clips together and then I decide how I'm going to do my introduction. And often I hang a quilt behind me and this is where I stand to welcome you to my sewing room. I use an iPad and a program on my iPad called iMovie. It's a very simple way to edit my videos and my iPhone and my iPad are sort of linked together. They're easy to use together. So the videos that I make in my sewing room do not require a lot. I, like I said, I have the tripod, the lights. I do have microphones that, uh, very inexpensive microphones that I hook into my iPhone and my iPad. And that's all there is to it. I really enjoy putting these videos together. It is always fun to sew with friends and you are a welcoming and encouraging um, community that I really enjoy spending time with. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time. 